How are you showcasing your work? Do you stand out as a candidate? If you're new here, hello, my name is Masha and I create content around career, technology, career in tech, entrepreneurship and personal growth. Subscribe if you haven't already. Having a portfolio website is a great way to allow your work and your projects to do the talking while letting your personality shine. And whether you're looking for a full-time position or project-based work, having a portfolio website can be much more convincing to potential employers rather than a simple resume. And portfolios are relevant for anyone, whether you're a designer, a developer, a photographer, or anyone anywhere really. Experience speaks for itself and showcasing the projects you're truly super proud of will place you above the competition. So let's talk about how you can create yours today. And in fact, let's go a step further and walk through the process together. Before we get into it, I want to thank Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Hostinger provides reliable, affordable, and super fast hosting for a website of any choice, from a personal portfolio to a cloud-based platform. Go to www.hostinger.com slash codingblonde and use the code codingblonde to get up to 91% off yearly hosting plans. I will leave an active link in the description in case if you're interested. So let's start with what is a portfolio. A portfolio is a display of your work and a lot of the times it will be curated to highlight and showcase certain aspects of it. And it has been typically used by photographers and designers and other visual professions to showcase their work. However, it has been spreading into other areas. So having that in mind, before we get into it, I want you to think through the following questions. So first of all, what is your goal with this portfolio? Are you looking for a full-time position? Are you looking to display your work? Are you looking for leads and fine clients? Or are you looking for speaking engagements? Question number two, who is the target audience for this portfolio website? What is their language? What do they expect to see? And what user experience are they expecting from this portfolio? And finally, think through your personal brand because this website needs to reflect your personal brand from its domain to its design. Now that this work is done, let's start creating your portfolio website. I'm going to be creating this demo portfolio under the assumption that its goal is to attract collaborators to Coding Blonde. So companies and organizations that want to work together on projects that empower women in tech. And since I've already picked out my domain name for this demo, let's go into my Hostinger account to start building. I'm not a web designer and my goal is not aligned with showcasing my web design work, so I'm not going to custom build this website. However, I do want to make sure that the user experience of this website is very nice and that the navigation is very clear. So I'm going to use the platform that I normally use and something that my blog is based on, which is WordPress. All right, so let's go into my Hostinger account and here you can see this is my website, Masha's Portfolio, hosted on here. And I am not quite sure where to find WordPress, so let's use support. I already got a response. I guess that was two minutes. <laughs> that was very quick. All right, let's install WordPress. And here's my fresh WordPress backend. So let's select the theme and start thinking about the different pages or sections that I want to have in my portfolio. Think about yours, obviously. And here are some tips. First of all, make sure that you introduce yourself. Briefly tell people about yourself, about your motivations, about your passions, and connect your social media. Secondly, make sure that you showcase your best and the most relevant work to this goal that you have in mind. Third, provide context on your project. Walk us through your thinking. Why did you do what you did? Think of them as almost case studies or yeah, cases. <laughs> 
for your projects. Why did you do what you did? Tip number four, have a call to action and clear contact information. Number five, make sure that you provide an easy way to download your resume in or CV in a PDF file. Number six, add references and testimonials. Number seven, think through the pages and the sections that you want to have and the navigation that you're going to have. And finally, number eight, consider starting a blog to create relevant and fresh content and make the SEO gods happy. So for the sake of not making this video a few hours long, I'm going to add some lorem ipsum text and I found this fun cupcake or dessert text generator, so I'm going to use that. Let's do this. So first let's customize the colors and the layout so that it matches my brand. So what I'm going to do is to reroute the homepage from my latest posts to a static page because I don't want my front page to be a demonstration of my latest posts. In fact, I'm going to delete this one, but I'm going to create a new page for my homepage. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, and I'm going to go and first of all work on the menu and then finally I'm going to customize the actual pages and the sections so that it displays the information that I want it to display. Now it's time to create a menu. So right now I don't have any pages so I'm going to pretend and then I'm going to reroute them to those pages. So what sections did I want? I want a section All right, so it looks like the sections are more or less ready and I just need to add final touches to make them perfect. And again, I will change that obviously. So first of all, we have our mission, then and we have to space them out a little bit. Projects, um, great, space them out again, about, maybe I'll reduce the size of the image, work with me, And yeah, these guys, I will not add testimonials to keep this video shorter, but you saw how I added all of the information already. All right, so I can just get rid of these ones and my action items are, I also want to change the color of this to match my brand a bit more. Um, all right, actually I can go with a footer. Yeah, the fo footer will be, might be good. All right. So let's just add some final touches and then we'll get to the menu and this part. So to finish off this website. So here it is. It took me three hours in total and it's pretty basic and it shows my highlights three of my projects um, right now. And of course, if I wanted to go further, I would create case studies for these projects and I would point um, my audience to them. However, I wanted to 
keep this video short-ish. So there you have it. And I've also checked that it is mobile responsive. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. Voila, here's my final portfolio that I can send out to potential collaborators. And I wanted to finish this video with some final thoughts and advice on this process. First of all, remember, quality over quantity. You don't want to overcrowd your portfolio, only showcase your best and most relevant work and projects. Number two is consistency in user experience. Just like you want to have a consistency in the way you format your CV or resume, you want to make sure that your portfolio website is also consistent when it comes to user experience. So from navigation to branding to things like, I don't know, which fonts you use and which sizes of fonts you use. And finally, make sure that you add an active link to your portfolio website in your resume so that if you send it as a PDF file, people can click on it and see your portfolio and see your personality shine and your best work doing talking. As you can see, this process is pretty simple and you decide the level of complexity yourself. In fact, don't overthink it and just start one right now, today. Remember, it's Black Friday and Hostinger has amazing deals on web hosting. So to get that deal, go on www.hostinger.com slash codingblonde and use the code codingblonde to get up to 91% off yearly hosting plans. Again, thank you Hostinger for sponsoring this video and for inspiring me to share this advice. I hope that you've enjoyed the advice in this video and that if you don't have a portfolio website yet, you will get one soon. In fact, today, why not today? <laughs> like this video if you've enjoyed it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And of course, let's be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.